Hello guys, Solitaire Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing Parallel World Pharmacy. This is an Iskai anime series, which isn't exactly unique, but it was different than instead of protagonist being an adventurer, he instead works at his own pharmacy store. In this anime series, the protagonist works as a medical researcher and was looking to find new medications for conditions such as tumors. However, he overworked himself to death and is now reincarnated into another world. He wakes up and sees that in this world, he is now a guy named Pharma. His family comes from a long line of medical practitioners. Upon entering this world, he finds out that he has special abilities, such as the ability to diagnose any medical condition quickly. He can also create any substance by using knowledge of its chemical properties, and is well ahead of everyone else in terms of medical knowledge. Not only that, he also has much magical power under his control. He helps help people in this world. I appreciate that this anime series trying to do something different, from what we know of Iskai protagonists, they are overpowered and defeat enemies easily. They also get a harem. So the anime try to change things around by having the protagonists work at a pharmacy store. But at the same time, it's not really different at all. The protagonist doesn't spend most of his time defeating enemies easily, but he is curing illnesses and other serious conditions easily. So he is overpowered in that regard. His eye lets him figure out the cause behind any symptoms a person may have. So there's no drama or tension there. Part of the appeal of TV series involving medicine and doctors is a doctor investigating the cause through trial and error. But here, Pharma knows the answer already. There's not any tension of will he save his patients. Pharma can do anything. He also can create any medication for serious conditions and knows more about medicine than everyone else. So he's basically like a god that people are left in awe of. They can't believe they get to meet someone so great. So Pharma has everything handed to him, and everyone is amazed by his abilities. It is boring honestly, seeing protagonist being given everything. He is given the perfect situation to be in. Yes, he still had to make an effort in some things, but nothing is much of a struggle for him. He can do anything. So the anime tries to create tension by having people be fearful of Pharma and oppose him. But Pharma is all powerful in using magic as well, so again no tension. We're just watching an anime series about protagonists that can solve any problems easily. Which is basically something we've already seen from many Iskai anime series already. The only point of this anime series is for people to be left in awe of Farmer's greatness and treat him like a god. So again, I appreciate that the creator of the series was trying to go for something different, but ultimately, it's just the same as any other Iskai anime series. Farmer as a character isn't that interesting. He's just a typical nice guy that wants to help people. Lotte is a nice energetic girl that was certainly entertaining to watch. Ellen was Farmer's teacher, and she was funny to watch because of how awkward she was around Farmer. She didn't know how to treat someone who was basically like a god. The opening and ending song for this anime series were average. The music for this anime series didn't stand out. The animation style and the animation looked okay. This was a decent Iskai anime series. It tries to be different from the typical Iskai anime series but ends up failing. It was still enjoyable to watch, but it's kind of boring to watch when no protagonist can solve any problem. I give this anime series a 6 out of 10. So that's all I'm going to talk about for this video. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great night wherever you are, and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and please comment if you find anything interesting in the video.